Fire X, Sea Rock, and Dura Rock. And then we have a little storage area for pallets and all that over there. All the floors have been doubled, redone, and everything. So um, this is just to make smoke. And we put all the sprinkler systems in for 1403 standards to keep everybody safe in case of emergency. And we run upstairs into the other burn area as well. And you can see the head by two inches before the line right there. We've got some rescue randies inside the buildings. We'll be doing some search and rescue with those. And um, we'll just be burning out the first floor only for today. So. All right. You guys want to fill it upstairs? There is a basement. We've got to clean it up. I don't know if you guys want to clean that stuff. So we don't, uh, we're not doing anything in the basement at all today. We're burning on the first floor. Uh, basically, we just used for some practice search and rescue stuff when we weren't burning. Uh, but it's available to us if we need to see the burning stuff. Or it's a train down there. And then upstairs, show that to you guys. Yeah. This is all top quality furniture. When we're done, this is for sale. So we're trying to raise money for the fun. <laughs> systems which run from here back down to where you guys saw the connection for the first floor second floor burn room we're only doing one burn at a time so once we're done burning on the first floor we'll do practice evolutions going on the second floor and this will be where the burn room is you guys put this drywall in yeah all this okay. is double drywall so it uh, everything's opposite so all the seams are covered it's double it's or double drywall on the ceiling and then we've got the dura rock where the fire is going to be so the dura rock gives us a little added protection and then underneath all the drywall it's all flashed with orange flashing on all the floor seams. Um, so everything's pretty well contained to this room. So yesterday we had a little fire escape out the window and get to the side of the house, but the burn room itself stayed intact. So the burn rooms are very well constructed and uh, you know, we've learned That's a the, uh, the dirt around there. Yeah, wow. We've learned over a couple failures on what not to do. <laughs> so and then we've got a uh, Primary escape route for some reason, um, or secondary escape route if the primary for some reason isn't uh, accessible. So we've got this right here with a designated ladder outside with a low angle ladder um, to make a quick escape rescue for the guys in case they need to. All the doors or all the windows are hinged with a little piece of plywood like you see, mainly to keep the smoke in, um, but they can all, they're all emergency egress. So if there's a problem, you just open them up and you can bail out. Um, so this right here is you know, I set up with a ladder for the second floor. Get out the roof right there if you need. Uh, for the most part, that's really not what we're going to consider an egress. We're looking either here or back down the stage. That's so you can see it in the smoke here. Yeah, just to get at least a little bit of an indicator. Hey, this is the way you want to get out. It's really that smoke in here. I mean, I do. Uh, you want to find
moved, relocated this burn barrel, so over here we're going to try not to burn off the smoke like we did yesterday, so there'll probably be an instructor in this area on a regular basis, so just kind of keep an eye on him, and keep in mind that this will be hot, um, so try not to, you know, fiddle with it too terribly much. Um, living room, there's another bedroom over here, there's stairs, obviously the staircase, if you guys go out into the kitchen area, I want to show you something about the kitchen, and we'll go upstairs. So in, if for some reason things go bad, you need to bail out of a window, they hinge at the top, so all you need to do is push it away and, and come out the bottom. Because of the way this whole design over here, the only way you can do this one is to actually have it hinged on the side. It is still a free opening window. None of the window shutters in here are fixed at the bottom. Um, obviously, except for that one. But they will all open up freely. Over here, You'll see the two 4x8 panels of OSB on the floor, and it gives a little deck, and it's raised up a little bit. That is the access to the basement. Um, while we're doing live fire operations, there will be no, the, no entrance into the basement. Um, these do just lift up in case we need to get down there for check for extension or whatever, but just know that when you get on top of these, they're gonna be a little soft, because it's just, it's OSB, you know, four foot spacing. Um, but that is the access to the, to the basement itself.
Thank you. 